Good morning to all young listeners fans, Justin Fleming here. I'm here today to give all of you a spoiler for today's episode of the CBS Thought Daytime Drama, Young and Restless. I'm going to read to all of you. Here it is. Today on The Young and Restless, at the penthouse, Chelsea is supportive of Billy's plan to pass out pink cigars at Jabot. She understands his family, is happy, but that Katie, that Katie turned out to be his. his. Billy admits he, was, he thought Chelsea might be upset with the cigars, but she's been great. He's worried about other people chimming in with Abby, Adam, and consigning with Victoria. Chelsea says he doesn't have to disguise his happiness. She is happy for him. They agree not to get drawn into people's garbage. Then at your boat, Phyllis informs Jack she wants to get her old job back. Jack snaps. He can't go back on every commitment he made while she was gone. Phyllis soon has him apologizing. But it clear but it's clear she is not. Hang on, baby, I'm just getting started. She wants to seize back control of her life. Jack is about to suggest something. When Billy arrives, they confused about the baby. Phil says he'll have a lot of time to spend with Katie because she's taking her job back. Jack sues that they should all sit down together. But Phyllis and Billy butt heads until their voices are raised. Billy gets fed up with Phyllis and says he's willing to step aside. Jack says Jack needs someone to head up the vision for Neil. He thought Phyllis might want it. But if she rather sit behind the desk, Phyllis mocks him, trying to manage her. Billy exits. Jack explains why she is better for the fashion position than Billy. Phyllis sighs. She wanted one thing to be the way. But Phyllis agrees to be head of the fashion. Then at the tech house, Nick tells Noah an angel of mercy saved him from the bear trap. Nick opens an envelope and says Sharon filed a counter suit. He can't believe she wants to make this ugly battle. No one wonders if she thought she'd give up her daughter without a fight. Nick says it's all about what's best for Faith. Noah says Sharon was sick. He insisted he wanted to be with her no matter what. They bicker. Nick needs to protect Faith from her mother. Noah asks Nick not to do this. He thought he'd get some perspective while away. Nick tells Noah about his strange experience in the cabin at the cabin. He discussed the bear trap again. Nick wants to find the woman and thank her. At Constance's house, Sage tell wants to call the hospital to check on Nick, but Adam won't allow it. He won't let her ruin his plan. Adam grasps about his situation and the bad luck of finding Nick. Sage reminds him it's his brother and senses she sees seeing fear in his face. Adam laughs. Sage says there's obviously bad blood. Adam complains about Nick being their, being their father's golden boy. He wants Sage to focus on him on telling him everything about Gabriel Bingham. After Adam packs a bag, he's certain Nick will have the cops stepping around. It's time for him to go. Sage reminds him they had a deal. They argue outside. They argue. Outside, Nick eyeballs the door and rings the bell. And then, at the underground, Mariah complains to Kevin about someone always being in their face about Sharon. They come, they come over Siri, they come Siri over the Halloween season being depressing and make fun of Santa. Mariah talks about not having Christmas with Ian or her mother. Kevin talks about how spending the holiday with Gillian made it magic, even for a cynic like him. Mariah, Mariah thinks he was lucky to feel the magic. Kevin looks thoughtful. At Sharon's place, Faith tells her she doesn't want to go between the houses. She doesn't understand why her daddy is so angry. Sharon tries to explain about being punished when you lie. Mariah enters and reminds Faith that they are playing dress up this afternoon. Faith heads upstairs. Sharon tells Mariah she can't deal with Jabot gig. Her Jabot gig. Mariah starts. So you want to, so you want Nick to get custody of Faith. 
she says. She gives her a pep talk about nothing hiding to lick her wounds. Ryan says Faith needs her to show up and be her mom. Sharon dresses for work. Noah arrives and tells him them about Nick in the bear trap. Sharon leaves for work. Noah and Mariah, Noah and Mariah discuss Nick. They agree to hit, help Faith get through this. And then at the Christmas tree light, Kevin and Chelsea embrace happily. Victoria's baby turned out to be Billy's. She insists they're fine and rambles on. Even Kevin's stunned. He uses to himself that Billy and Victoria love still love each other. And then Sharon enters Jack's office. Phyllis asks what she's doing there. Sharon says she works there. Phyllis fires her. Wow. Phyllis really does hate Sharon that much. Kevin surprises Maya with a Christmas tree at Sharon's place. Billy arrives at the penthouse with a Christmas tree and knows Chelsea already got one. Well, that's my little spoiler for all you Young Wrestlers fans. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. All you have to do is subscribe to me, Justin Fleming. I can give you updates on what's happening on the CBS Daytime Drama with Young Wrestlers at any time. I'm out of here, peace. Enjoy today's episode. Have a nice day. Peace.